millions to your heart. Namaste. Bow down to the crown. Namaste. If I made it this far, then namaste. Fit us wrap our hands down. Namaste. Mikey, but you're always high. Namaste. Thinking mode eyes low. Namaste. California West Side. Namaste. namaste. Hello, everybody. I'm here in downtown Los Angeles getting my daily exercise. And I thought I would just pull out the phone and uh, grab some footage of how things are looking down here. As you can see, it's a bit of a ghost town right now. Very, very little going on. Public transport still seems to be running. A few cars. This food truck behind me for some workers. There's quite a bit of construction going on. I think the city is taking advantage of the empty roads to crank through their projects and try and get caught up. Hopefully they'll still have some money at the end of it. Normally that road that I just crossed would be absolutely jam-packed at this time of the day, but as you can see, it wasn't. I'm seeing lots of face mask signs everywhere I walk. Now over to Angels Flight Railway, which is a historic landmark. And if you're ever in LA, I highly recommend you check it out. If you do, you'll be able to ride the two cable cars, which you can see over on the left. It was built in 1901 and is featured in loads of movies, including La La Land, uh, the Muppets and TV shows like Perry Mason, Dragnet and The Saint. Uh, sadly, right now it's closed due to COVID-19. And onwards we go to the Arts District. On the left you can see the Museum of Contemporary Arts. On the right you can see a little reflection pool, which I often use for photo shoots as you can see here. Dead ahead of us is the Coburn School for the Performing Arts, which is primarily for dance and then in front of us here you have the Walt Disney Concert Hall which is a relatively new building here in LA designed by Frank Geary, world famous architect and its neighbour to the left is the Broad which is another very innovative looking building as you can see not many people on the road there and um, yeah what I would say about the Walt Disney Concert Hall is it makes for a phenomenal place for photo shoots just opposite on the right you have some construction going on and uh, yeah back to the Walt Disney Concert Hall and here are a few of my pictures I took there. And now I'm back in the car cruising down Hill Street. And you can see not a whole lot of traffic, not many people wandering around. And you have to remember, normally it would be gridlock down here at this time of day. And this is unprecedented. Uh, it's also a great place for photo shoots. I often shoot down here. And since this is a photography channel, I'm going to show you a few of my pictures before moving on. Over on the left, you can see the lower end of the Angels Flight Funicular Railway. Also coming up on the left is the famous Second Street Tunnel, which has been in absolutely tons of movies, including Flashdance, Terminator, Transformers, and most notably Blade Runner. Speaking of Blade Runner, now you're in for a bit of a treat. Do you recognize this building? It is the Bradbury Building, built in 1893. It's a true LA landmark, famous for all sorts of movies, TV shows, music videos, including Chinatown, 500 Days of Summer, and most notably Blade Runner, where you might recognize this atrium here and the birdcage elevators from um, J.F. Sebastian's apartment. And if you could get into the building, you would see at the top is the famous rooftop scene from the movie. So some nice views of it there.
And with that positive message, I'm going to wrap things up. Here's LA City Hall. It has an observation deck at the top. It's open Monday till Friday. Check it out. Also check out the other four parts to this pandemic series. And if you like it, please subscribe to this channel. Drop a comment below and also give it a big like. And thanks for watching.